Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to do one more review for tonight, and uh, tonight's uh, kind of a special one. I'm going to do a review of the brand new Microsoft Security Essentials. It uh, just came out of beta, and uh, let's take a look real quick. It's only 8.61 megabytes, so it's a very small installer. Let's uh, install this. I got 10 uh, brand new URLs, fairly uh, zero day as I'd like to call them. Uh, not a lot of detection on them. So let's uh, check it out and uh, see what we got. I haven't used uh, Microsoft uh, Security Essentials since it was in beta like three or four builds ago. Um, so I'd actually like to see what's changed on it. Hopefully it's remained as simple as it was when I last tried it. and. Uh, I know it's not a full security suite, so you'd have to pair it up with, you know, a good firewall and uh, something like that. I'm not going to scan it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the latest updates. There's no point for me to scan it because I know that it's a clean computer. So right now it uh, looks like it's downloading. You can see the icon is a uh, like a little house with a flag on it here, or a castle with a flag. I guess it could be. And uh, while it's downloading, I basically can't do anything. I just have to. Well, I can go to home, but I can't go to settings or anything like that. So, um, seeing as this update's taking a little bit longer, I have a feeling that a lot of people are trying uh, trying it out and um, the Microsoft servers are probably loaded up instead of having you wait here and watch it I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when uh, the update is finished see you in a second okay the update just finished as you can see um, the latest updates they just got and we'll check again just to make sure it took a good uh, I don't know three or four minutes let's check out what they got here for settings okay leave the recommend actions alone real-time protection everything's activated we don't have any exclusions file types or processes under advanced you can scan removable drives and uh, Microsoft SpyNet you get a basic membership or advanced depending on how uh, much you really want to uh, get into it so seeing as everything's up to date let's exit out of here let's uh, look at task manager real quick see what kind of uh, usage we got well, it's uh, using a decent amount of uh, RAM, that's for sure. It's using uh, a little over 60, a little over 70, sorry, megs. So that's uh, that's high up there, pretty sure. But uh, let's see how it does on uh, detection here. I got uh, 10 fairly, uh, like I said, new. URLs here. Okay, there you go. So if I caught one, let's click on details here. A Trojan downloader. That's good. Let's uh, clean the computer. Clean seems to be going much faster. Let's try the second one. think the second one got caught oh, I think this one's dead I'm not sure but I think this one stopped working That one got caught. That one was a another Trojan. We'll clean the computer. That one.
one's dead too. I think this is uh, some kind of exploit. See anything there? No, that one's dead. We'll let that one work in the background. It's rogue, some kind of rogue, and. Uh, Caught one here. Another. Uh, we'll clean that. That might have been this rogue here. We'll see if it disappears after it cleans. No, that was uh, the other rogue. The other, this link right here. Looks like this one might be dead also. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to wait for this one to finish. Oh look, it's finally working. We'll uh, see what that's doing in the background. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I will uh, pause the video and I will be right back after I get uh, about three or four more links. See you in a second. Okay, I'm back. I got uh, four more links here to test it against. Appears like that one is dead. I don't test these links beforehand, so uh, we kind of go with it. That one looks like it's dead also. You know what, I'm going to close Internet Explorer out and open it again. Okay, I'm going to go back to these and check it out one more time. Okay, so those really are dead. These links go up and down so fast you can't... Sometimes it's just a battle just to try to find something that works. That one looks like it might be working, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, that one's dead also. Hmm, let's see here. We got a temp file running right there. Um, let's see if we get any redirects. That's interesting. to the free uh, we can get to the AVG website just fine so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it again and get some more links see if I can find at least four more that work okay I'm back um, while uh, the video was paused I got another error little thing from uh, Microsoft security essentials popped up let's clean that out we have actually a Trojan right here that's plugged in that keeps popping up and it's very very annoying uh, I got a couple more here to test, but what I'm going to do before I do that, uh, I'm going to start a new video here, and I will be right back. And uh, hopefully in video two we'll uh, get these three that work, and then uh, I'll give it a full scan, and after the full scan I'll do a malware byte scan, just like I usually do to see if uh, it, what it missed and if it missed anything. So uh, see you in video two.